Yesterday, after buying spray paint in another city and taking the train, I saw a big terrain with a lot of abandoned buildings next to the tracks. I wanted to take the train, but I had to wait like almost two hours before the next train was leaving. So I decided to see the city a little bit and just cycle around. And then I saw the wall a little bit further up ahead. I already checked it and it really looks like a legal wall or some hall of fame. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's allowed to paint there, but there, but there are a lot of good pieces. So I'll show you. So this is where the wall starts and it's very, very long with a lot of good pieces, characters. But it's completely in the sun, so I definitely not recommend you painting here while it's like 30 degrees. It looks really nice. Uh, winter in complete summer. seen this guy a lot more in the city nice so as you can see the wall is pretty long but still I'm not sure I don't I'm not sure if this this is a legal wall but uh but like I said I don't recommend you painting here in the complete sun this already looks pretty old There he is again, in nice black, white and red combination. My favorite combination. And once again, I'm in the train. Hopefully the spot that, I, that I've seen, I'm able to get in and then uh, I can finally paint some walls. I definitely have to finish all these cans, otherwise it would be a waste, right? So, uh, I still have some work to do. So the building is on my right side, but so far it looks uh, like they took some measures to keep people out. There are fences and they block the windows. And there are more fences over here. So I don't think I'm able uh, to enter easy. Right at the moment when you walk to a fence, someone is always coming, you know? This fence should be pretty easy to climb. The person doesn't even look to care, so...
I always wonder what these buildings have been. I mean like this terrain is really big and I checked Google Maps and I think there are like 10, maybe even 12 buildings. How can you leave this behind like it's nothing? But looking at the plants and the trees, this must definitely have has been like deserted for many years now. And so far I haven't seen any tags or pieces or so I wonder if I'm like the first rider over here. Ah, I see pieces, so I'm not the first. Oh, there's some more graffiti over there, but I saw a really good piece over here. Let's check it out. The roof is gone. Nice. Was muss das muss? Oh, nice. Check this out. These are like... <laughs> and these tiles are perfect for pieces. I mean like, they cover really well. Oh wow. What is this place? If it wasn't completely in the sun, I would definitely have painted it. Oh. So the first thing that came up was like, this might be an old military basis. Uh, big holes for like vehicles, tanks, whatever. Here's even more. And even more buildings over there, so... I can keep on walking here, but I think it's time to find a spot and start painting. I came here and I read this. This is Mafia. Uh, yeah, I don't hope this is from the Italian Mafia. They probably kill me, bury me something somewhere over there. And the tracks are over here. So I'm back at the building with all the tiles on the wall and the pigeons. So I think I'm going to paint a piece somewhere over here as those uh, tiles cover really well. Oh, and there are the pigeons again. Ah, they're shitting. It's one big ass booby trap with all those pigeons. So no pigeons over here. And I like the fact that the tiles are falling off the wall. As I still have a lot of paint, I can paint a decent piece. So now I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with all the paint. These are all used cans. Oh. You can tell that I used uh, the most of the light colors already. This is a chrome. I uh, didn't make any sketch, so it's gonna be a freestyle and... Um, 
and it's way too hot to paint really quick. So I'm just gonna, gonna have a chill over here. So I'm gonna keep these apart. I'm gonna use these for the fill-in, highlight, oh no wait, this is the fill-in, this is gonna be the outline. And then these bright leftovers as the background of the piece. And the question now is, which color am I going to use for the sketch? It's gonna be this one. Both pretty dark. First I'm filling up the space between my letters and then I'm gonna do the, the rest outside my letters. But then I have an idea of how big I can make the background uh, around my piece instead of starting left and then not having enough paint because this can is already used. So I find this an, a good way of uh, using my paint. There's a lot of uh, purple in there. Okay, so this one is almost empty. Alright, so far I got the fill-in standing and the background and I must say that the orange in the background is making it a lot fresher. The rest of the colors are all a little bit dark or flat. The pink is, is also kind of fresh. It's time for the outline. I'm gonna do a uh, light blue. So I'm uh, really curious how this is gonna look. The color is called matte. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is a place in France.
Yeah, and once again, I think I'm going for a yellow second outline. Somehow the contrast isn't how I like it, so... I'm gonna give the entire piece in the white inline. Alright, that's it. I'm done with this piece. Time to get away from this place, uh, or at least this spot over there, because I got eaten alive by mosquitoes. I think I have to find a more sunny place this time. And there goes the pigeons again. Bye bye. I still have a lot of paint, and I definitely want to paint something more over here. So let's see what I can do. Maybe that one. The sun is still burning like crazy, but maybe a quick colorful throw up with the, the leftovers from the previous piece. Now I'm gonna do something freestyle. I think I'm here only standing here for just like five minutes and I'm oh, completely sweaty. Yeah, it's probably not even looking good, but hey, I just wanted to empty some cans. Yeah, what should I say? <laughs> okay, quickly on to the next one. So I'm thinking about doing one more piece, but how cool would it be if I was able to do a live stream from here? I have no idea if the internet is good enough, but I think I'll do the sketch first and then I'll do the rest in the live video. Sounds pretty cool, right? I think I'm gonna do a GBQ piece. I already tested the wall. It's uh, it's covering pretty well, so that's nice. Oh well, I think it's gonna be another uh, freestyle. Now that the sketch is done, let's see if we can do a live stream. I'm just gonna chill 
and paint. And I'm gonna check my phones once every while so that, um, to make sure and check if the connection is still working. So I'm gonna paint this piece pretty quickly as I have to uh, catch a train in like 40 minutes I guess. So I hope to paint like uh, for 30 minutes, grab my bag, jump the fence, go to the station and uh, back to my uh, hotel. Let me see if you guys can still see me. Okay. I don't get the live stream to work. So I, I guess I'm gonna finish this piece uh, just like this. What a shame, it would be nice to do have a, a live stream from right out of Italy, where I'm right now, but yeah, too bad. Five minutes till the train leaves. Yeah, it was a shame the live stream didn't work. So to those who entered and saw the frozen live stream, maybe even twice, I'm sorry. I guess the connection here in Italy is just not good enough for a live stream. I wish it was differently, but... Now you can still watch me finishing this piece. Oh, I forgot this part. Stepping away or standing a little bit further away from your piece is sometimes the best way to see if you have missed something or not. And again, I think I'm gonna give this piece an entire inline. And now I remember that I also have to buy a train ticket, so uh, I'm gonna run for this one. It is way too hot to run in Italy. Come on. Hey, that one is, that one is mine as well. And I think I have to work on my condition a little bit more. Okay. I can already see the fence. Okay, looks all good. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Okay, maybe this car then. Okay, I got 13 more minutes. No reason to go over the tracks, I can just go underneath it. Otherwise I would definitely have rushed over the tracks. But I do not recommend it, so uh, don't do this at home.
from this day on you can become a member of this channel and you have access to a monthly news video raw graffiti videos and early access to the newest ones so check out the join button if you feel like supporting the channel and you want to have the little extras